your current SEO strategy uh, for companies and yourself? Like, has it changed? Is it the same? Like, yeah, we we've evolved our strategy. I think more and more today, we're doing a few things. One is we're generally going more up market. I think not just because what does up market mean? Like enterprise companies, so like, Fortune five hundred. Got it, big ass company. Yes, okay. exactly. Yeah. And part of the reason for that is that's who I see winning long term. So we want to. It's not that I don't want to help small and medium sized businesses. It's we're in the business of helping people actually get ROI. And increasingly, Google's just showing that if you're not one of those that sector, you're not going to win. So one of the things we we're doing in relation to that is passive link acquisition. So a lot of people are doing shady off page link building. And what we're trying to do increasingly is build link building engines for clients where they rank for something or several things and they will organically acquire links. Like are, you, are you talking about, wait, sorry, passive link acquisition. You're talking about like a generator or a calculator that just gets links by the nature of it. So that's good. a good, good example of it. Yes. Okay. What are other examples of passive? Link? So their trends posts will often be something bloggers and reporters, maybe Google and then site. Um, the cost to remodel your kitchen is one where people look for that specific data point. It's often a single data point that someone's referencing. Mm. That's also a search that you would see in a quick answer. A person would grab that, but it can also be something very high fidelity, like a calculator that just gets linked to. It's kind of, the, we describe it as the ratio of searches to how often it gets linked to. Hmm. Statistics posts are an obvious one where people are like citing data points uh, and trends. So it could be like copywriting trends or copywriting statistics as, as reference points. Oh, interesting. I've never heard that searches over links. That's an interesting formula. I'll have to play yeah, around with the, that one. The, the, it's, there's some that are pretty obvious, but that will hopefully help you find low um, difficulty things. Because it's obvious to search for blank calculator. Most of that's going to show up to everybody. Mm -hmm. And you might still get passive links, but it'll be harder to find. But the low search volume ones that get linked to a ton, that's where the, the, the gold is at the end of the rainbow. And anything you kind of hate about the SEO industry or love or any like stuff like that going on? Uh. I don't know if this is just unique to our industry, but there are a lot of negative people in our industry, I find. Like a lot of <laughs> haters, there's a lot of... Uh, Why? Why do people hate in the SEO industry? I don't know. Maybe it's just the nature of Twitter generally. Do you think it's just nature of Twitter generally? Yeah, I guess so. There's always yeah. like some degree of hate. But there, there, there might be a degree of what we talked about with Google is like it breeds kind of negativity when you're getting crushed by Google on kind of a cycle. Yeah. These traffic updates are depressing. Man, I, okay, I'm on both sides of it. Because one, like I do create content and like if I don't get a click because Google gets it, like I'd rather have it, of course. At the same time, how much do I pay for my search engine results? Oh yeah, zero dollars. Do I have to do it? No. Does Google have to give me, do they owe me something? No. It's just like, you got to play the game. So it's kind of like, it's like people hate sure. on Facebook, but it's like, oh, sorry that Mark Zuckerberg put out a completely free worldwide interconnected node network for you to use and get a bunch of traffic and share with your friends and get updates from them. It's just like, you don't have to be on it. You don't have to do it. They yeah. don't have to do it. You're not paying for it. So, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of like ambivalent about it. Like I would like it if I got a bunch of free traffic for no reason, but like, I understand like it's a competitive market. You gotta, you gotta do it. Agreed. Also search traffic is still by far the number one, most desired type of traffic. Um, I think so. It's just like month after month. If like, if I don't post for months on my site, I still get all that traffic. It doesn't go away. Whereas if I don't post on Twitter for four days, I get zero views. Right. <laughs> you don't have to be on the treadmill. Yeah. Yeah. It's, there's a reason it's the number one channel for so many people. Yeah. For so if I look up your site on Ahrefs or something like mm -hmm. that, shout out to Ahrefs. I'm wearing the t-shirt yeah. right now. <laughs> um, they, uh, uh, like you have like something like $30,000 worth of free traffic a month just coming to your, your stuff. That's, that's a lot of, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of free traffic for sure. That's pretty awesome. It has to be. Yeah. So no, I don't know. I don't know why people are so bitter sometimes. They just got to understand. Yeah. That. I mean, I it's when you have it all wiped away, it can, you, people do feel entitled to it. But most of the time when you dig in, those people didn't deserve it compared to the alternative. As you mentioned, the, the better example of how to make an egg is now ranking number 